Welcome to Chris W Outdoors. I'm Ash. I live here in the woods. I work here in the woods. I don't live under a stone. I've got a cottage. It's Chris W Outdoors, YouTube. Yay! Hey, hey, Welcome to the Muppet Show. Right, anyway, beautiful, beautiful afternoon. Sunshine. Big yellow thing in the sky. Ain't aliens. Right, so anyway, I'm going to pan the camera around. Arms length, there we go. And Chris, they've popped up again. Can't keep him away, he's only here yesterday. And he's in the uh, French army tent. Is it F1 or F2? F1. He's in the F1. And a little bit of dappled sunlight, a little bit of shade. And I'm going to be in the uh, Polish La Vue again. Normally I'm hammock and top guy, which is lovely because I've got absolutely spacked up neck and back injuries. Play me up. Chris is a bit more robust than me, so he's gone for that one. And me, I'm going to be in the La Vue again. Had a fantastic weekend. Only, only like what? Saturday, Sunday, Saturday morning through the Sunday afternoon, and. Uh, yeah, so down on Woodland Meadow. Well, there are spiders everywhere. Parachuting in. So we're just going to chill out. I've got loads of work to do. I can't really be buggered about it. And um, so I live here, I work here. And uh, I'm going to find a little flat spot. I'm going to put my love view up. Oh, so, yeah. On the meadow, not in the woods this time. And he brought me down a bottle of um, spice gold. Captain Morgan's. It's about half past one in the afternoon. And yours truly, he's done half a bottle already. There we go. Anyway, we'll catch up with you guys later. And I'm not sure what we're doing. There's no actual anything happening. We just decided to rock up. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, catch up with you guys later on and um, we'll see what transpires. So hello Chris again, so back out of ashes today for a couple of days in the French F1, decided to take a week off work, have a little rest, so we'll see you at the weekend with the other lads, had a good time the weekend and now coming down just for a nice little chilled one just for a couple of days, relax and rest. So I've got the French F1 over in the corner there next to the stable, so I'm like tucked underneath the bushes there out of the way. So. Yeah, it looks good over there. It's looking good. Right, let's go and have a bit more Pepsi Max and chew the fat. Ash has just gone up to the uh, buildings. He's got a delivery. So yeah, we're just going to chill out. Watching the spiders hanging on for dear life onto their webs, flying across the meadow. They're hanging off the trees, these big spider webs. And you can see the spider going across. They actually move around on their webs, don't they? Never actually seen it until they get the sun on it. And as the spider web's going across, this big dragonfly just come down and took the spider out, you know. It's like, wow, that was a good shot. So, yeah, couldn't film it, too small, but, yeah, brilliant. Yeah, it's amazing what nature does, really. We know it happens, but you don't normally see it. So, yeah, great. Very peaceful. Very peaceful indeed in the woodland today. Very nice. Right, I'll bring you back shortly. So 
So we're having a nice chilled little sit in the corner of the meadow at the moment. Up at Pepsi Maxis. Just watching the squirrel run around in the trees. It's amazing. These old oaks are beautiful. The more you look at them, the more you see. They creak and they moan and yeah. nice, lovely old trees. Alright, let's carry on. See if we see any more squirrels. Oh, bit of bacon grill. Got some nice fresh rolls as well from Liddell. 
Let me days. So yeah, didn't have any spam. So hey, have to be the old bacon grill. I find it a bit salty, but when you're hungry, don't matter. <laughs> Push and out. Hey. Right. For big slices, four right there. Oh, yes, going in. So that's it, that's the bacon grill. Oh, lovely. Right, I'll get that cooked up in a minute. Let's get the oil and the pan. Soft rolls ready. Oh, look, look at that. Wallop. Straight in. Gosh. No messing around. Ah, oh, that is really hot. Mm. That, that. Oh, that smells good. Taste test. Oh, mate, we'll go for me. Ding dong. Right, my go. Mm. Oh my god, these are amazing. Bacon grill, tomato sauce, and fresh rolls. Mmm. Crispy. Mmm. Just the best. Anyway, you won't have any. Because it's all out. Bye. Make up some nice coffee. Oh, that sounds beautiful. Nice hot coffee. Lovely. Right, coffee. Cheers. Mmm. Nice that Kenko cappuccino. Lovely. A bit hot. Oh. Right, just to remind you of the video that I've done the weekend, which was yesterday. Um, there's a hashtag on there. So on that video, hashtag some blesser for a chance to win not one, but two head torches. Version one, version two. So yeah, hashtag some blesser on the last video for this one, which is the double lavu video, which was done here as well. So yeah, so don't forget, you've got to be in it to win it. Right, I'm going to grab my coffee, I'm going to go back over and sit over in the field. See you soon. Fire going. Yeah. So get rid of the mosquitoes for us. It's a nice evening. It's that time of day when the mosquitoes come. <laughs> Wonderful.
Right, it's about half past eleven now, and it's bedtime. So, see you all in the morning. Good night, everyone. Sweet dreams. So, morning, people. <clears throat> I had a really good night's sleep, but when I woke up this morning, the French Army tent had condensated on me. I was absolutely soaked, all down my back of my t-shirt, through my sleeping bag, on my inflatable mat, everything soaking wet. Even my hat soaking wet. <laughs> and I had both doors cracked at the back and front, and both vents at each side open as well. Just for some reason, badly condensated. There must be like two litres of water in my tent. So yeah. So slowly drying out, sun's coming up. OEX. PV 300 sleeping bag is uh, drying out, hopefully. My hat, and the only thing that's dry is my chair, and I left it out all night. Go figure that. I might as well have slept in my chair outside, eh? Right, I'm going to do like, some spam rolls anyway, so yeah. Get a bit of breakfast out of me. Try and dry out a bit. Bring you back soon. What time is it? It's spammer time. <laughs> Let's do the hot spam. Spam roll for breakfast with tomato sauce. Ooh, lovely jubbly. Ooh, get that in your cider. Mm. Lovely. Mm. So, a couple of people have asked me about cook kits. So, what cook kit do you use? So, non sometimes I use an alcohol stove, but I do find it. The alcohol like, will spill in your burger and it will smell a little bit and all that sort of thing. But I do like them, they're nice and quiet and you know you don't have to worry about cold temperatures and all that sort of thing. But yeah, but my go-to is uh, my little gas stove there like that. So basically I've got a little tiny rocket stove on the top there. Only a tiny little thing off Amazon, I think it's about six pound. Comes with a little case which sits on the side of my padded case there. And then obviously I've got my lighter on the other side because this doesn't have a self-igniter. So yeah, it's a zipped pot which keeps your canister nice and warm. Stops it getting too cold. And it's by a company called Spiro. I think it's about £11 on Amazon. They do a green one and they do a DPM, which this one is. So yeah, I really like it. Protects the bottle, stops it clanging in your bag. That's the little bag that the stove goes in, and obviously the light on that side. Yeah, it's nice, it's got a plasticky bottom. Um, the only thing is you do have to grip it to turn that off, because it will just spin around inside its own bag, but yeah. Yeah, it's a great bit of kit, nice and easy to use. Unscrew that, put it in there, done. So yeah, that's my go-to cook kit that I normally take with me everywhere. Lovely. Right. That's it then. Cup of coffee time, which I've just made. Um, also on top of that cook kit, best tin. I can use it for cooking, I can use it for boiling water, I don't have to carry kettles, I don't have to carry flasks, I don't have to carry twigs, and you know, just uh, that's it. So yeah. Gas is the way forward for me at the moment. I do have stick stoves. I do have the little stove that I used the other day. Um, little like a looks like a hot stove, but it's tiny, small one from AliExpress. Oh so, yeah, I do like my stoves. But yeah, my go-to is the gas. It's so much easier. If it's peeing down with rain and you're stuck in your tent, you can just stick your gas out and pour some water for a cup of tea. So it's a lot easier. All right, I'll stop gabbing on. And I'll bring you back shortly. Cheers. Tea. Chalky biscuit. Several. Left them in the sun and they melted, so I put them back in the shade and then they melted and melted together and I can't pull them apart. So, uh, yeah, dunking four. Ooh, let's see what happens. I lost it, fell off the end. Oh, don't, that would be like porridge <laughs> then. Oh. Hey, straight in. Look all right. You'll find a clump in there later. Mm. This, but these must, my biscuits all melted together, work them apart. Anyway, cut two.
So I'm just having a cup of tea. This uh, ration pack tea, British Army ration pack tea, is really nice. I would say as nice as Yorkshire tea. Some people would swear at me for that. Cheers. Right, we're off to do a bit of float fishing in Ash's Pond. Let's see if we can catch anything. Little fuzzies over there is come fishing. Hello, fuzz. <laughs> the good boy. All right, no fishes tonight. Just a couple of bites and we're getting bitten, we're getting bitten more than the fish are, so yeah, we're off out of here, <laughs> back to the campsite, see you shortly. How's the bacon old chap? Bacon, mate. Nice and crispy. Mmm. Mm. Mm. <laughs> nice. Walk with him as well. <laughs> And they're making a nice cup of coffee. By the way, that's washing up. That's not bacon, uh, bacon soup. That's just um, soaking the pan. So I'm not eating that, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, so a nice cup of coffee in a minute. Just to finish off the dinner. Very nice. So people, we've washed up, full bellies, packed everything away. Yeah. yeah. Now we're just sitting in front of the fire for the rest of the evening. So it's been a really good two days. Yeah, just watch really the fire. It. Shh, 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 hang on, we're getting to a good bit, mate. Watch this. What's happening? This is the best bit. Oh, is this where Aunt Sally runs off? Shh, there's a plot twist in it, watch. Oh, is there? Oh, you missed it. Oh, oh no. you know what this reminds me of this program? What? London's Burning. London's Burning? Yeah. Remember, um, what was that program called now? Towers of the Unexpected. Oh yeah, with the woman dancing. Yeah, and the flame is coming up. Yeah. Well, where is she? I don't know. That's not bloody good, is it? Sylvie. Hey, <laughs> no, we should have got Gary to dress up. No, no, don't it, go there. No, no, don't go there. Yeah, but you'd be scared, wouldn't you? He would be scared. You'd be scared, Gary, wouldn't you? Yeah, you'd be scared, mate. Anyway, big shout out to Gary. Bears in the woods, mate. Yeah, fights bears. Mm. Right. Big shout out to Satnav as well. <laughs> ah, enjoy yeah. work. Yeah. <laughs> right, later's.
Right. Good night all. I'll see you in the morning. Tonight I'm leaving the door open a bit. Just put my chair in the way. Because last night I condensated it in. So yeah, hopefully this will be a little bit better. And there'll be more air coming through. We'll give it a try, eh? Right. See you in the morning everyone. I'll let you know how I get on. Good night. all night. Yeah, it's still condensated. It's still full of condensation, which is a damn shame. I do like this tent. Yeah, you can see it running down my arm. Such a shame. Can you see that? It's a damn shame. I do like this tent. Right, better get up, I suppose. Dry it out. <laughs> oh dear. Back shortly. Right, people, another couple of days camping. All done. You see, left no trace, put the tent away. Ashes lovely still there, drying out. So yeah, it's been a nice few days. Thanks for your hospitality again, Ash. That's all right, old boy. Yeah, look, see, we've got a proper kettle sometimes. We don't always slum it. Yeah, so if anybody wants to comment on the kettle, the kettle is there. I'm not trying to hide it. I'm not telling everyone I'm in the wilderness, because I'm not, all right? So yeah, just camping out in the field in Kent. So yeah, yeah, and a few, uh, fires and a chit chat around the fire a couple of days off work so yeah right thanks for watching the video everyone see you all again soon cheers now